Welcome to this tutorial which is about processes of erosion in a river. Uh, there are four main ones, hydraulic action, abrasion, sometimes called corrasion, solution and attrition. So let's begin with hydraulic action. This is the sheer power of the water as it travels down the river. And what it does, it starts to increase pressure and traps air within lines of weakness on the river banks. I'm just highlighting a few here. And this process within the cracks and crevices causes them to widen and eventually pieces will break off the river bank. The next process we'll look at is solution. And solution is a very easy one to understand and usually occurs where the River banks and riverbed are composed of a soluble geology, um, for example chalk. If we have a look at this photograph on the right here we can see that the river banks here are made of chalk and if the river water has a slightly weak carbonic acid that will slowly dissolve the riverbeds and the river banks. So the next process is abrasion, sometimes called corrasion. And this is to do with the bed load that is found on the riverbed. It might be pebbles or boulders, or it might be load which is carried within the river itself. And this basically involves the bed load scraping against the riverbanks or the, the riverbed itself. And you can see in this photograph here, um, this is a river at low flow, and you can see the amount of bed load that is actually there. And if you imagine that during a very high flow, this bed load is rolled or bounced along the riverbed and it starts to scrape away the riverbed, a bit like um, using sandpaper, and it scours away the, the river banks and the riverbed, making it deeper and sometimes wider. And the final process of erosion is attrition. And this isn't to do with the erosion of the bed or the banks, but rather to do with the bed load within the river, whether it's boulders or pebbles or particles carried by the water. And the process of the water flowing over these particles causes them to collide with each other. And this collision process causes them to become smaller and rounder as you move from the upper course down to the lower course.